Quoth the white ball. Screw you guys. I'm leaving. Hello there, I'm Extraneous of Analog Pixel, and today we're taking a brief, unscheduled look at the wonderful NerdCubed's latest creation, How to Snooker. I've been playing with and exploring this game for a fair amount of time, so I'm just briefly going to show you the way I've found to get the ideal start for your break, and then talk through a full game of Snooker. First then, the perfect start. Now, one of the things this game does is snapping the white ball back into the D when it's dragged out, but the way it moves it relies on the rotation of the white ball, which means that it can be changed if the cue ball is spinning as you mouse over it. As you can see here, by making a contact with one of the colours inside the D, we've managed to get it outside and spinning, which means we can nudge it in completely the wrong direction. The perfect trajectory for this is towards the reds which might net you a few free ports, but will certainly save you wasting a shot on the break. So, now that that's done, let's have a look at my first game. As you can see, I'm using my break technique here. But, well, it isn't working perfectly, I wouldn't say. Maybe a 6 out of 10? I managed to get out eventually, but in the wrong direction, so I decide to push it a little. And, well, maybe a little further. Oop! Well, I suppose that's an auspicious start. Needless to say, I get a slightly better break next time, with, if you just watch here, a nice early pot on my second shot. You see? I can line it up nice and quickly due to how the game works. And it goes in... oh. It goes in! Wonderful! Although I somewhat ruined this next shot due to the fact that I still have no idea what I'm doing. Still, at least I guess the music's nice. Also, as you may have noticed, this is now a perfect setup for me to demonstrate another fun quirk of the physics engine. Watch the pink spot. Ah, I love it when it does that. In fact, a few shots later, I actually get another opportunity to try this again, one which I promptly waste by means of being terrible. Okay, well, I just recommend that if you watch what's going on here, don't ask what I was thinking. I don't know either. But still, that small failure and loss of an entire shiny brand new point is okay, because I managed to follow up with... Aha! A nice double pot, which would work wonders for my efficiency rating if not for the fact that I'd missed so many times already. After that, I make a few more buckets. No, buckets is basketball. But you may notice if I'm using the more powerful right click here. There's no real reason for that, it just makes the game more fun if you hit everything really hard. Well, I'm going to cut out the middle section here that consists of just me failing. Instead, let's skip to this red, which I absolutely didn't just screw up sinking the shot before. And here we get to see some of the physics that I really like. That being the sticky cushions, which makes scoring points in situations such as this super easy. Oh, oh, you didn't need to see that. Cut. Well, anyway, let's assume that after that moment I continued to play like what you can see here, a super long pot of practically Olympic standards. Okay, so snooker isn't Olympic sport, but you get my drift. And again, I got a nice little streak going here, right up until the moment that I suddenly stopped said streak. And, well, the shot after that... Well... Let's just say it isn't pretty. It's coming up soon, you won't miss it. Well, I missed it. Still. Ouch. I then made short work of the remaining reds, or at least we'll pretend I did, 
allowing me to make this super neat multi-bounce shot before moving on to the colours. As it happened, I set up the yellow, green, brown and blue in a really nice order just to make this combination and, well, as you can see it turned out quite well. These next shots looked a touch tricky, but they were nothing against my mad skills. The mad skills you've totally seen me demonstrate throughout this entire video. In fact, it only took me two shots to get this pink hair. Sorry about the spoilers. That's just me using the cute light up by the way, it's a great hint. I recommend you try that if you don't want to miss like I just did. Still, sticky cushions again. And then, well, just assume that I made the black on the first try. I didn't. So, well, 59 and a half percent. That's above average, so I'd call it a game well played. Lastly then, a few thoughts. Firstly, it's obviously possible to get over 100% efficiency in this game if you try hard enough, especially if you can make a few shotless pots at the start. And well, if you manage to get video or screenshots of you achieving this, we'd love to see them. Drop them in the comments. Aside from that, the gameplay and physics are solid, the production values are really good, especially for a free game. I mean, look at the lighting. And well, I feel a few remaining bugs only add to the enjoyment. Should you want to play this beautiful thing yourself, a link is available in the description. Of course, remember to like and subscribe to both us and Nerdcubed if you haven't already. And well, that's it! Until the next video! See you and ta -ra.